So I want you to imagine right now that, th that this is room temperature. Right? So we, we're, we're in, we're in a, this whole classroom is a cup of liquid, and we're, we're at room temperature. And we're molecules. What would, what would we be doing right now? What would we look like? Can you show me? Show me. We're, we're water, right? Room temperature water right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm raising the temperature. I'm raising the temperature in the room. What's the, okay, now I'm cooling it off. I'm cooling it off. I'm cooling the temperature way down. Way down, way down. So it's getting down, we're getting down like 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. What starts to happen here? We're starting to get stuck together, right? So that, that's how temperature, right? And if we increase the heat again, uh-oh, uh the heat's getting, right? So if the people are moving, that means the temperature's going up, right? Okay, so that makes sense. Okay, now I'm going to ask everyone here. Everyone here is going to be a charged particle. I explained to them just... Uh, the basics of, of how positive and, and negative particles will interact. But we went to the back of the room and everyone was assigned a charge, whether negative or positive. And then I asked the group to move around and then behave in the way that these two rules would require. I mean, so there should be some drama here happening, right? You guys, you think, like, look, like, you're bumping into each other? <laughs> and, and very quickly, the students started to get into some configurations that were confusing. They were trying to figure out, for example, if a positively charged particle and two negatively charged particles were connecting, how would they arrange themselves? Which is, is exactly the kind of thing that I want them to start thinking about, because this, this makes sense when we start looking at bonding between atoms and, and molecules. Aww. So take, take us... Take a second here, and I noticed this. What would happen if you have, well, let's stand back a little bit so we can it see. Be in the middle. So actually, let's, let's try just two people for a second. Ron, come here for a second. What if there's just two? You can stay here, Sandra. So if there's two, a positively charged particle and a negatively charged particle, if they come together, they become neutral, right? So now I'm negative. I just, I kind of ignore them a little bit because they don't have a charge anymore. Mm. I mean, Miyako's positive, so maybe I'm pulled over a little bit on this side, and I'm, maybe I'm pushed away a little bit on this side. But in general, they're kind of neutral. Mm. I, I sort of ignore them now, because they, they, they kind of found their partner, yeah. and they don't have a charge anymore. Mm. Though, so if, but if, if, there were maybe, if there were maybe three, like you guys said, Ron would get pushed away from Sandra, so now he would be on on the other side of Miyako. And you guys might bond three a little bit, right? But, but the negatives would be opposite each other, right? Because there's a little bit of bonding here and a little bit of bonding here, right? Yeah. So right now, if we think about this, so let, let, um, Ron, come back for a second. If we think about um, Miyako and Sandra right now, do they have a charge? Yes. yes. What's the charge? Neutral. neutral. So we, we usually say that if, you, if you're neutral, you don't have a charge. If Ron comes back, and, and he bonds with them, so they're, 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 the three of them are connected, these three I particles. Do, these, do, they, do they have a charge now? You can come a little closer yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. What's their charge? Negative. They actually have a negative charge of one right now. Because there's two negative charges, one positive charge. So there's a, there's a negative charge of one. What did, what did you just understand? Like, it depends how many charges it is, and then that equals to the... One. Yeah, equals to the percentage of the charge that it's going to be. So there's two things to know about electrical charge. Beyond this stuff, there was two things we should start to think about. That the number of charges matters. And you can, you can tell whether the, 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 uh, the particle is overall positive or overall negative. Okay, so what about over like this? Ah, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think? Right, so Eileen just joined. I think no, me so say, say more about why do you say it's neutral? Because it cancels each other out. Natasha? I feel the same yeah. way. It's evenly distributed. Yeah. Right, so this, and in they're the, in, the, in, the, in the right order as well, right? So mm -hmm. negative is, is attracting positive, positive attracting negative, negative attracting positive, and overall they're neutral. So they have no charge right now. So if, but if I come over here and I, you know, I'm, I'm negative, and I break away with Eileen, right, so what, what happens now? 
They have a negative charge of one, right? Let's look at a slightly different situation. Uh, Jenna, can you show us yours? Okay, two negative positive. We need two positive. Asbury, um, can you, we need two positive and a negative over here. Can, we, can, can you guys join for us for a second? So, okay, so Fabio, Asbury, and Adam. How would you guys arrange yourself here if you were a, a particle connecting? Do you all agree with that? Yeah. <laughs> so be a they, they would have a charge of positive one right now. Which of the particles here would be attracted to this group over here? Negative. Negative. So let's see it. Boom. Okay, so what happens now? Neutral. They're neutral. And so what if I come floating over here? Which, no, which, no. uh, they're neutral, I'm, I'm not really interested. Oh, I kind of come over here. Yeah. What happens now? Negative. 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 Negative charge. So what's going to happen if there's other particles floating around? They're going to come to my side? It's positive. 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 And the negative. Positive. Okay, so stop one second. What's our, what's our, what's our charge right now? Go ahead and step in, Natasha. Neutral. It's negative. It's negative. It's negative. It's negative. Negative two. Negative two. Yep. It's negative two. Yes. Is it? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. No, it's negative one. Negative one. No, because negative one was two. Negative two. So you have three positives. Negative two. And one and three positives. So there, there are how many positives are there? Three. How many negatives are there? Four. How many more negatives are there than positive? One. 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 There's one more negative, so that means we're, our overall charge is, 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 is negative one. Right. The other thing I want them to understand was how distance is involved. That force, whether it's a, a repulsion or attraction, over a closer distance that force is stronger, over a larger distance it's less. And that's important when we start thinking about the structure of the atom, but it's also important in thinking about why lightning happens. So one other thing to, to think about here is distance. So, so stay, stay there for a second, Nako, sorry. Which, per, which, pers, which particle am I going to be pulled towards um, more strongly? To Sabrina or to Miyako or to Edith? Who's going to pull me the strongest? Why? Because she's closest, right? So distance actually matters. So the fact that we're close here means we get pulled together. Um, there's a little bit of a pull happening all the way from Miyako, but this pull here is stronger, right? So over distance, that, that strength gets, gets smaller. Edith, if you could step out for a second, forgive me. <laughs> so Edith is positive, right? Now, we know as far as uh, being, she can be attracted to negatively charged particles, but what about positively charged particles? Right, so, is she, so if you can come over here for a second. Right there. Is she being pushed harder by Eileen or by Miyako? Eileen. Why? Because she's closer. So the distance matters here too, right? They're both the same, they both have the same charge, so they push away from each other. But, but also, it's also true here that Miyako is pushing her away as well, but not as hard because they're farther away. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to ask you guys to do is sit down and see if you can write down as much as what you remember of what we just figured out.